So, hello guys. I am the Alchemist. And in today's video, the Legend of Korra boss, the final boss of this game, because it honestly is visually really cool. Now, in terms of playing, yeah, it's kind of iffy. But without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Alrighty. And. Yeah, if you guys have seen my, my many, many playthroughs, you'll know that there is one little section before. But I also want you guys to know that you can do an air scooter. I saw one a comment mentioning that they wish you can use the air scooter. Well, you can. It's right here. And airbending is one of the most overpowered and strongest bending forms in this game, which makes a lot doesn't make a too much sense as fire bending and water bending. Pretty much all the elements are very are very good. You know, switch depending on who's wielding them. Bring it. Cora loves to taunt. It's like that's like her personality, which I think is kind of cool. It's fitting for the avatar. Now, one thing you guys will notice right away is that airbending does not warp you to your enemies like it did in my other showcase. And that's another thing too, it's really good at hitting against the block. That was such a weird transition. This is what I'm talking about, it's really good for crowd control. As you can see. Now I should mention guys that if you look on the top left hand corner of the screen, you will notice that my bending is maxed out. Normally it doesn't start out like that because you have to slowly earn your bending back throughout the story. So if you guys want like a story story gameplay video, I will do that for you guys as well. So that is another thing I will I will do down if you guys want it. Just comment actually go ahead and in the comment section if you guys want to see me play like a story playthrough, like an actual story playthrough, like how the game was meant to actually be played, just write a comment down in the section saying, hey, we want to see this, and I will definitely get to it, as Cora does her little stretches of that. I've actually never seen that before, so that's kind of cool. We both saw something new in this game. If you guys have seen my firebending only playthrough, you do know the room. Well, you do know that there's a room over there where you can get a chest, but I've already shown you that. Now, firebending is not like airbending, where I can't warp the enemies, so you actually have to walk over to them. But you can hit the enemy enemies through uh, wooden barriers. Which is cool. And again, like I said in my other video, you can fight this boss quite a lot. And again, you can actually wreck these guys. Because airbending is just so much more powerful than everything in this game. He's never- I've never seen him- that's another thing. I've never actually seen him up here, guys, so that is another thing. And again, there's the combo. Again, if you do the kick, you don't even see that guy. But yeah, I, I love that earthbending. It's kind of like a shield, you know. When you do the combo, you get a little shield of tornadoes around you, so they can't do as much damage as they should, which is always nice. <laughs> now, what's kind of funny? I should show you guys this. So, say you fall off an edge, right? I totally forgot to show this. But you fall off an edge and hold it. <laughs> As I get hit. If you fall off an edge or something and hold the A button down for airbending and airbending only, it seems like, you can actually sort of glide your way over. See, the little kicks. Like, 
the hitbox is a little higher. And again, one of the better scenes. Another thing, guys, is I do have a Talisman that allows me to heal over time, which is cool. That's another thing I do have. It makes Expert Mode very a lot easier to manage as well. Again, we've already seen that fight so many times. Wow, there are automobiles all over the place. Great to see the city on its way to recovery. Let's see, if we can make the jump with air bending. Can we get all the way there? I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't want to count that because obviously I had to use bending to get there. Yeah, see, they can't even really touch you when you use air bending, so I don't know what the developers were thinking on that part. Because air bending is all about evading, it's not, it's not about offensive moves. You know? None of them hit me. There we go. Before I move on to the boss guys that you've seen a lot. I can't get enough of these guys. Well that too. But another thing I want to tell you guys is that. This game, she, like I said earlier in the video, she has a bunch of different outfits, but the outfit that looks like she's one of the main enemies, that, those guys give you speed, you know, the, the outfit gives you speed. So that's another reason why I use it. It allows you to attack faster, which is something that I find really cool. Yada yada yada, I've seen it all before. And again, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the tornado does a ton, tons of damage to him. Just like that. Do you feel anything? I I think I do. Let me try again. Again, you just gotta parry five times. Not dead. <laughs> Out of here. And my favorite finishing move of all time. So yeah, like I said, that was the boss. We've already seen that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the two levels you have not seen before, because I haven't featured them once on my channel yet. I think that is going to be really cool. So without further ado, let's get into that level. All right guys, so this is when you enter the spirit portal. Now, just so That's you guys know, this is the difference. first time you encounter these spirit-like enemies right here normally. Well, that's not true. There are, is a scene in the game where you do encounter it before she loses all of her bending. It's the old man. He knows you're here and he's controlling these spirits. They mean you no harm. Let the voice of the spirits guide you. Come 
on. Let's do it all again. Is that control. Happened. Don't worry, spirits. I'll fix this. So if you guys remember. just did where she kind of takes them and turns disappears you guys remember that's from book two obviously right and this is the first time you encounter those enemies so i thought i would go ahead and show you that part again this is a level you guys have never seen before oh no look at the sky something's really wrong here it's got to be that old man and another thing you guys might realizes that that's actually that spirit tree because it's the dark spirit the dark avatar so that's kind of cool and again they can't really touch you with their bending and this level does have a lot of oh my God, get out of here this level does have a lot of secrets, actually, but I will do that. I'll, I'll try and do that for another video for you guys, not, not now, because it takes away from the story. But it's a lot of hidden rooms. And again, I like airbending because you can hit through the block. I do enjoy that. And again, it's kind of cool. When you knock them down, you can kill them all. Now here's the giant spirit boss. And if you guys remember from book two, when this thing uh, first appears. That's a big one. And again, when you have airbending maxed out, it's not too hard to get rid of. But on the show, that would never work. So all logic goes out the window. And again, like I said earlier, guys, this is the main villain of the game. This can't be real. Or not earlier, my last video. And he shoots these little eel things at you that are no time to deal with. You always want to get rid of them, because otherwise they make this very difficult. And again, another secret here. Which allows you, if you go up there, over here, there's a blue chest. So that's another uh, little hidden area. This is the old man creating those What's evil Some kind of portals. Spirit energy? I've got to stop it. Again, like I said, they really can't touch you with their bending. Generic, generic enemies, especially. You see, I was able to kill them all without them getting anywhere near me. There it goes. As you guys realize how powerful airbending is when you max everything out and get all the combos. And plus it's fun to put yourself in a ball. And the fact that you can destroy this while using the ball is kind of cool. These are the bosses you fight over and over again, but this time as bunny spirits. Oh, God. 
I tell you, that, that's one of the hardest fights in the game right here. Like, for sure. Those are actually bunny spirits of the three main bosses you fight earlier. I don't know if you guys can tell, but one was a fight. It's the triple triad as bunnies. So, that's what that was there. Here's the real show. It's these guys twice. Now this is really difficult to do with any bending. Let's do this. Bending, it makes it a lot easier. As you can see, all the doors right there. I will do a video covering all of those. Now, I want to tell you guys that this is how it transitions into the next level. You may call me Hundun, master of the chaotic attack. In my time, I was a king. Huh. And now you're just a sad old man. Yes, but one who still has much treasure in the physical world. Treasure enough to buy an army. And thanks to you opening the portals, now they can march right in. <laughs> Pretty much all your enemies you fought earlier. So, that old man that you guys just saw there, he is, at, he, like I said earlier in the video, he is the main villain. But another thing I want to tell you guys about this game in general is that the entire story is basically a retelling or a different version or scrapped storyline of book two. So originally, he was going to be the villain for book two in, at some point in development, but over time, they kind of thought, no, Dark Avatar, and, you know, the rest is history. But he is the main villain. He's the original villain, I should say, actually, for book two. This level is basically going to consi consist of three challenges, and right now, we're going to do the first one. <laughs> The first challenge is to basically defeat all these enemies. Now let's see how high with air bending. Let's see how high my hit count counter goes to. Let's see how high I can get it. Honestly, with air bending, they can't really touch you as long as you keep creating the force. These equalists are so simple. Sprinkle in a few words about the equality they create, and they dance in the palm of your hand. Pathetic humans. I think it's about like four or something. Oh my god, let's see. 500, come on. These fools, they hear the jingle of coins and forget their own mothers. They have no idea. Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh no, my kill count on my hit streak wounded. That's unfortunate. Oh, Basically, it's just fight a bunch of enemies, fight the bosses. You That's stage know one. The pain that I felt. Here is challenge two. <laughs> Stay a little longer. parents versus Dragonfly Bunny Spirits. The spirit world very own Dragonfly Bunny. Chaos versus order. Bunny versus insecure, frightened, powerless avatar. Round one. See, it's pro bending. It's against bunnies. This is honestly more challenging than playing it on the hardest difficulty. To be honest with you. I totally don't want to do it. I don't... I've never seen what actually happens if I can beat them. See if I can survive the match. This isn't fair. They're breaking the rules. <laughs> rules? <laughs> there are no rules here. There is only. See, that's the angle that's supposed to be. That's why I got all confused when I saw that same angle. See, and there's a giant version of him. And that's him getting all annoyed. If you guys remember, but this is basically her form when she fought Darth Ab Dark, the Dark Avatar. The chaos grips you ever tighter. You will not break free. No, it's not real. It's not real.
I really do hate that. How much damage they do. Alright, so I got two of them out of the way. Like, this is the hardest movie to come up with. But that was the third and final stage of this level. Time is over. Be thankful your spirit has not far to travel. Oh, I forgot about that. So this is actually, guys, where she gets her avatar spirit back, the avatar state back. I'm just gonna sit here. Unfortunately, you guys do know the music here is copyright, so I won't be able to show you it, but it's pretty epic music. So, this is the Avatar state at its best. And this is her Y move, or Y combo. You may have regained your avatar powers, but our battle is far from over. have it those were the last two levels before the boss
only using airbending. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed. I do want to let you guys know that I do respond to all comments. And I try and get back to them if possible. And if I don't have an answer for your comment or your concern or your question, I will try and guide you in a way where you will be able to answer your question. So, again, don't be shy. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next Avatar video.